hello python programmers so in this video i'm going to show you that how you can create a gui or graphical user interface using python which will display the live score of the current ongoing cricket match so first of all let's see what is the requirement for this project first you need to go to this crick api website and register yourself then you need to install the request library just go to the command prompt and write pip install requests and it will be installed for you so this was it for the system requirement now let's get to our editor and let's get this started okay so let's import our library first from kinter import star then we'll uh, import time then we'll import requests and we'll import json time and json comes pre-installed with the vanilla installation of python then let's first create our kinta gui root dot geometry now if you have watched my previous video then you must be familiar that i love kinter for creating my guis because it's very simple and whatever i want it just do for me <laughs> it's very simple actually no any fancy classes nothing at all just simple commands and your work is done so let's say the font is times the size is 15 and I want it to be bold now the BG color or the background color will be let's say white this should be this should be inside inverted commas now here we have created a label with this font style size 15 and it should be bold and the background color of that label is white let's grid this this label will actually display the score uh, let's say add the row second and column is also equal to second the pad y is equal to 25 and the pad x is equal to 100 now here we are gonna call our function uh, this should be full stop now let's create our api go to this script api website i'll provide the link below you have to sign up after that you will land to uh, this page and i'm not from new delhi and i'm not from lucknow i don't know how it is there so this will be your dashboard go back to the home page and go back go back start using and here you can see if I copy this link paste it here and then I also copy my uh, 
API key and just write question mark API key is equal to this and press enter actually there is an extra inverted comma let's press enter and then you can see the details of all the cricket matches now some of them are not live either they are scheduled for the future or they have been played so we want the current ongoing match but I don't think so that there will be any ongoing current match now because it's very late at night so let's find out 2019 9 26th actually it's around 12:40. so I don't think so that any match will be live today let's see that if cricket if any cricket match is live let's go to Crick Buzz and let's go to live scores and actually no cricket match is live there it is stumps 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 and no cricket match is live so let's take a played match and show you that how you can uh, display your details into a GUI let's take one example like this one Kent versus Hampshire I'll select I'll select Kent here go back uh, copy paste there you can see Kent I just want the unique ID this is the unique ID I'll copy this let me open a notepad to just take a record of all these things let's go back and let's select the score API copy paste this link over here and you actually need two parameters first is your unique ID and second is the API key first let's take the unique ID unique ID and our unique ID is this and our unique ID is this I'm gonna copy paste it here and sign API key is equal to now let's copy the API key API key is equal to this let's copy this and paste it here Uh, the path was detected after this there should be no slash actually Spence and oh no there should be a question mark after the cricket score press enter and there you can see all the details of that cricket match like Hampshire trail by 67 runs with 7 wicket remaining in the inning actually the match is still going on this is a test match and this is I guess the third day yeah right this is the third day and uh, so let's take this this match as our example so let's go back to editor and create a function def times no parameters required and before that let's call our API should be match data 
is equal to requests dot get and then let's copy paste this link over here okay so now let's convert this into json data so that we can apply the manipulation match data right match data dot json so coming back to a function current score is equal to json data stats actually stat because there you can see if we go to this uh, dictionary then for for the key of stat we are having this value due to day to hampshire trail by this 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 is because this is the detail that we want the user to see because if the match is live then this is where the uh, current score will be present so let's go back to our editor and if you are working with the current ongoing match feel free to use this stat key only because this is where the current score will be present so let's create so let's configure our label configure this is gonna be the text current score the current score uh, variable and we want this function to run after every 200 microseconds so after every 200 microsecond this function will run again okay so now let's run this go back to the folder shift plus mouse right click open powershell window here python 1 dot py and we are having an error no connection adapter were found for the request uh, let me see actually while copying a h got missing so it was just ttp which means nothing so let's run this again and we have that error again expected value line one column one okay okay so actually this error came up because there should be a question mark here not a slash so let's run it again and nothing happened okay now why would anything happen because i haven't closed the kinter window uh, root dot main uh, loop save this run it and there you can see a gui is present which is displaying the current status of the match now you can adjust your gui you can like add the option of the country's match that you want to see there are many things that you can do with this project you can make it more interactive you can make it more beautiful looking like this is a very ugly looking gui but 
the basic motto of this video was to show you that how you can extract the data and just implement this into your GUI now making it more presentable making it more beautiful and making it more effective is all on you so this is it for this video and i'll meet you in my next video bye bye